Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Your first time here at Manning? It is, yeah. It's my first time. Yeah, the, the heat really won't set in until about two more <laughs> weeks, right? Uh, a little bit, but I mean, you know, it's it definitely is hot out here, but it gets hot in Tuscaloosa, so I'm a little used to it. What's the, the most you've worked on, maybe the thing you've worked on the most in the offseason? Um, I think as a team, it's definitely been about building chemistry, about building making sure that we're on the same page as an offense. Um, there's a lot of new pieces that have come in as a team. Um, so I think just making sure that we're all assimilating to the offense at the same rate, we're all on the same page, we get all the little stuff down. I think that's been the biggest thing for me and for us as a team that we've been focusing on. The mission, national championship, and this time win it, right? Definitely, yeah. I mean, that's our that's our goal every year. That's the standard we hold ourselves to. And obviously falling short last year hurts a lot. So, um, you know, we didn't feel like we did what we needed to do last year. And, um, you know, it's on us as a team, as a group, to correct the things and to be better this year. So it starts, you know, we're working at it every day. So that's really just our goal here. Jermaine Burton added to the lineup. And that, that's a big addition to you guys. You lost some talent, certainly. But you also picked up big-time players. Yeah. yeah, Jermaine's been really, really big for us. So. He's come in, um, worked really hard to learn everything, um, you know, to really work and improve. And, you know, we've been able to get some good amount of uh, timing and chemistry down. So, uh, Glad that Will Anderson's on your team and not you got to run away from him, right? Definitely, definitely. Um, having Will um, and, you know, just having to go against him in practice, I know how disruptive he is. I know how, how talented, how, how great of a competitor a person he is. And like you said, I'm definitely lucky that I only have to go against him during practice. Um, well, so I love it. Pete Jenkins told me, Mike, one thing with Bryce Young, he's a leader. And sometimes that has to be cultivated as a player. But you feel as though you're the guy, you're the leader of this Alabama football team. Yeah, definitely. I feel like, um, and I feel like as a leader, it's just my responsibility along with the rest of the leaders on the team to do what's best for the team, make sure that you know people are held accountable, make sure that we're all going towards the right goals, make sure when we stray and the little stuff that we might run into that we're not doing well, that we correct. Um, so, you know, as a leader, it's my job again to, to make sure that um, whether it's big or little, make sure that we're, we're on the same page, we're correcting the things. And that's been a big emphasis for us as a team um, this offseason. So um, I'm still trying to improve and grow as a leader, um, just like everyone's trying to improve and grow as an individual. So, um, you know, anything I can do to help the team, that's what I want to do. Thank you. Last year, Revelation, man, came in and uh, Coach Josh, and all, all of a sudden, offense got turned around. Y'all got cheated on that bowl game. No, I can say it. You can't. <laughs> you might get in trouble. But, man, y'all got it humming on offense, and, and that was impressive to watch, mm -hmm. especially from midseason on. It, it really all clicked. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, you know, just, just coming in and, and Coach Hyper coming in in the middle of the year, not in the middle of the year, but, you know, in the spring, and um, building that offense and building the camaraderie within the team and locker room, um, it was great to see us flourish throughout the season and keep building getting better day after day. What's uh, the one thing you've learned the most? Okay, your head coach is a former quarterback, mm -hmm. and so yes, you got to make sure everything's right because, mm -hmm. you know, he's going to correct you on that. Mm -hmm. How was that to work with Josh? Yeah, it's great. Um, just to have someone that's been in, in my shoes before um, with, with that knowledge is amazing, as well as uh, Coach Hosley and, and everyone around him, his supporting staff, um, is great. They, I come in every day um, with the attitude of wanting to learn more, and, and they're coming every day with the attitude wanting to teach more. So, um, you know, with, with those components, you know, nothing can go wrong. Um, I, just try to, I just try to build day by day to get better. The pressures of being a starting quarterback in the SEC, because mm -hmm. I work with Bobby Abier. He says all the time, Mike, we get way too much credit when we win. We get way too much blame when we lose. You've got to accept them both, mm -hmm. and you've done a great job with that. Yes, sir. Yeah, just trying not to get too high, trying not to get too low, you know, staying even kill um, and keeping that positive attitude for your teammates, because at the end of the day, Everyone's looking at you and seeing how you react to things. So, um, you know, just keeping that positive mindset and keeping encouraging guys uh, is what I strive to do every day. Okay. Now, if y'all got any more Tennessee players y'all want to send to the Saints, we're willing to take them, okay? You got Marquez, yes, came yes. in here, Alante mm -hmm. got drafted, you got yeah. Bryce Thompson, mm -hmm. uh, Shai Tuttle. Yeah. So, man, uh, that might be a destination one day, yeah, right? It might be, might be. Uh, you never know. On the Lord works in mysterious ways, it might be a Saint. You never know. So, um, and even the other guys on our team as well, you never know. Guys guys might go to the Saints. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for the guys that are there. Um, I know Alante and Shai and, and Tom and all those guys out there were put on a great show. 
show um, and bring enthousi enthusiastic attitudes uh, to the team. So uh, I'm excited to watch him play. And Cody Burns is not a new yes, receivers yeah, coach yeah, for the yeah. Saints. Man, it's yeah. Tennessee South. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, um, you know, hats off to uh, KB. Uh, great coach, great guy. Uh, keeps everybody motivated, keeps a smile on their face, and he just, he just wants to come in and work hard. Is there one player in the spring you say, man, he made a big leap from last year? Improvement wise, mm -hmm. um, on offense, I would it would have to be it would have to be two players. I would say Ramel Keaton and Jalen Hyatt. Um, both of those guys just changed their mindset tremendously. And um, you know, every time I'm in there getting extra work, those guys are in there, um, they're asking me questions. Hey, Hen, um, you know, what do you see right here? What can I do better? Um, and that's encouraging to me to know that I have teammates around me that are trying to push not only themselves, but also me to be better um, in our craft. High expectations. Mm -hmm. It always is in Knoxville. It's been a while mm -hmm. since been really relevant, but you guys seem to be on the right track. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said before, we just want to come in every day with the mindset to get better. Um, you know, expectations are expectations, but we expect to win, and um, that's what we're, we're building off of. Thank you so much, man. Best Thank of luck to you. Man, you got a bright future, my Thank man. You, Keep Thank working you. at it. Thank you. We'll do it. Appreciate it.